Oh, it's been a long time since I recorded the last video. Uh, I just moved into Warsaw, well, some time ago, and I think it's time to film some videos for YouTube. And I'm hopeful that we're gonna be filming more of those, and I'm gonna be posting more often than I do now because I posted a long time ago. So let's start with the new video. Hello everyone, my name is Mariusz Gajdzik and on this channel we talk about filmmaking, photography and everything around it. And in this video I would like to show you uh, what's in my camera bag. My camera bag is Wounded Provoke 21. I didn't make a review of it, but I can tell you I really, really like it. Let's start with showing you what's inside. And I'm gonna show you the outside pockets first, and then we're gonna dive into the back and show you what's inside. So let's start with first thing that is really essential for me. In this little pocket, you can find the AirPods, and I really love those for video calls, listening to music, and everything that you might need headphones for. The other thing on the outside of the back is my favorite tripod, which is Siri tripod, tabletop tripod, and I used it for almost everything. I always try to carry it with me, and you can set up a time-lapse with it, you can vlog on it like this, and it's very versatile tool uh, for photography as well so i really recommend this one and you can watch the review which is quite a popular one uh, because this tripod is quite popular for vloggers and for creators on youtube let's get into the roll top and i'm gonna show you what's inside there and this is quite difficult to do. Maybe I should lie down the back so it's easier for me. In the top of the back, the roll top, there is my sunglasses and I really love those ribbons. Why you might need nice sunglasses is for when you're filming outside, for when you're flying your drone, they are going to be very, very useful. So I really recommend to get a pair of a nice sunglasses because you don't want those cheap ones that gonna reflect the light all over. Uh, you want the ones that you're gonna be able to see everything with and those are my choice. The next things in the roll top is the power bank from Omers. I like this one because it shows you how much percent you have of the battery and also for the power delivery charging with the iPhone. Uh, I can charge my iPhone really, really quickly with this one. And I can also charge batteries when I need uh, for my camera. I can charge my Apple Watch. So uh, definitely that's something that should be in your camera bag and it is in mine. What's inside? Let me start with this side. On the top, you can find basically my DJ Mavic Air 2 Flymer Combo. I really love this drone. I use it all the time and I feel like if you need a good quality drone that's going to be able to film 4K, that's going to be able to do some nice Instagram photos, this is the drone to go for. But if you're looking for any drone from DJI like DJI Mavic Mini 2, Mavic Air 2 or DJI Mavic 2 Pro, you're going to be happy. Uh, I am happy with this one, but if the Mavic 3 Pro is going to have some nice features I will be considering to upgrade but only because a bigger sensor and only because I'm used to the quality of full frame. In this mini cube from Wanded it's the drone, it's the controller, you're gonna need that if you want to fly your drone and then basically everything else that came with the Flymer combo. And also what I have for the drone is the Freewell variable ND filters, 2 to 5 stop and and six to nine stop really love those really like the box really like the tool to be able to install those filters much easier and I really like that tiny cleaning cloth it's really nice really love the fact that I can just drop it out of the bag and the bag is compressing down much more and it's much smaller so if I don't need a drone I just take it out the whole cube and I'm basically golden to go for photography or filmmaking. Next compartment that I have my camera stuff in. And obviously my camera that I'm filming on is not there, 
and that camera is the Sony a7R2 and I have a 28 75 millimeter Tamil lens 2.8 aperture which I really really like I really like this combo it basically pretty much stays the same all the time I sometimes swap the lens on it but this is sort of like my main angle main camera and I really like this combo I've got this camera from 2015 so it's a old guy now but it's still great it records 4k 30 25 24 uh, so that's all I need for a moment and if I need some slow-mo I can always record it in the full HD and this is really nice quality too it does s log it does everything like that the downside is 8-bit video but maybe I can update to a7s3 when I get some more money from the clients uh, but for now I feel like I'm good with this uh, setup and also I'm using a microphone from Comica, Comica Boom XD. This is the wireless mics that I done the review of and if you saw my review I really like those mics so that's why I'm using it right now. Uh, and let's start with the first thing which is the camera. Also with the Peak Design Leash camera strap which I like for this small camera. Uh, not so much for the bigger camera but for this one is perfect. Uh, and I use this camera as a B-cam uh, for photography. I use it quite a lot uh, with this Samyang 24F2.8. Uh, I really like this combo for street photography or like everyday photography. It's really small package and I really like this camera. Let me know if you want to see a review of anything that I'm showing you right now, because if there is a lot of people interested, I'm my make it. The next thing is the lens that I don't use that often, the Helios 44M4, 58mm lens f2, uh, quite nice lens, vintage, it is adapted to Sony mount and I don't use it that often but sometimes I want to play around and it's more like a toy than a tool. Uh, but sometimes I play around with it and it brings quite a nice results quite different than all the other lenses But I might be updating that to some autofocus prime lens from Sony or Tamron or somebody else uh, We'll see. I like it. It's it's a bit different and you need to play with it a little bit more The next lens I have is the APS-C lens for the a6400 uh, And this is my favorite lens for filming the interiors and also for vlogging and I really like the OSS in it uh, the stabilization because the a6400 doesn't have it this is a great lens for it because it does have it and it's really nice wide angle and it's really nice for interiors so if you're looking for something like that i recommend it the only thing that is not really nice about it is the f4 and not f2.8 next thing is the peak design slide camera strap and i done a review of this one too basically the only strap you should consider to get for your camera from the mic rode video micro that's the only one i have from shotgun mics i sometimes rent rode video ntg if i need it for some serious jobs but for run and gun and for vlogging this is more than enough it's really good quality mic and it's small it doesn't need battery it's really really nice and it doesn't get any wind noise or anything like that so happy with this one and let's dive in more the freewell vnds of course they need to be here i really love those i really recommend those uh, i've made a review so once again you can watch it really nice filters really comparable to peter mckinnon ones but much much cheaper and i really like that so this is my vnds of choice and of course for these filters i have the step up rings uh, i only bought the 82 millimeter size and then i adapt them via step up rings and the last thing really is road wireless go i really like this mic a lot if i want to record only one person this is perfect it pairs instantly i also use it with the rode smart laugh uh, so this is really good basically you connect it to your camera you connect the laugh mic you turn them on and they work so this is a really nice setup for the wireless mics and the last thing in the back is my 2018 macbook pro 
which I really like. I do all my editing on it. I do all my photo, video editing, all my client work. I do basically everything on this MacBook. And it's pretty much full spec from 2018. It has uh, Vega 20 graphics. It has full on processing power. And the only downside I really see is it heats up quite a bit, but it's a very thin laptop, so you kind of can expect it. And what they are doing with the M1 Max, I really like and I really love, so I'll probably stick to Apple stuff and see what they come up with. But for now, this is definitely good enough. So this is pretty much it for my setup, for my what's in my camera bag. I'm gonna zip it up and if you, want to check out some of this stuff it's going to be linked down below uh, it's going to be amazon affiliate links so if you buy anything from amazon through these links you support my channel thank you very much and i think this is everything for this video so keep it thick peace and love and i'll see you in the next one bye